The history of how authoritarians rise could not be more clear. The pattern could not be more clear. You'd think people would learn from it, wouldn't you? Republicans seem to be under this impression that Trump's target is primarily Democrats. But what they don't see is that the way authoritarians rise for the most part is the first target of their attack are the people in their own party. Get rid of the ones they think are disloyal and co-opt everyone you can, take over the party and then go from there. So when you watch Republicans behave the way they're behaving around the Iowa caucus in recent years, it's clear they don't see that they are the first target of Trump's attacks on democracy, but also on them. Let's go through this real quick. It plays out so clearly. So just a few years ago, you had sort of these sort of prominent figures nationally within Ohio. You got Chris Christie, Marco Rubio, governor from New Hampshire, Sununu, and Ohio people like Houston, J.D. Vance, who said he voted for Hillary Clinton, Frank LaRose, you've got Liz Cheney. They would have all, when Trump went down that escalator, thought, this guy can't be part of our party. He's way off the rails to be part of us. He's not part of us. But one at a time, what Trump does before he ever gets to Democrats is goes after them. He convinces some of them who have ambition to join him. Others are afraid of him, like Houston. Uh, Sununu looks like he is. Rubio looks like he is. And over time, what does Trump do? He co-ops the whole place. That's the new circle. And there are a few people, like Chris Christie and Liz Cheney right now, to their credit, who aren't going along with it. But I want you to think about this for a second, why this is so problematic and ultimately dangerous. What happens when an extremist takes over a party, but these people go along with it, is they sanitize him. In many ways, they become the most dangerous enablers of all, don't they? Much more than, let's say, a Rand Paul, because these people sort of had more moderate brands. And when they step up, like Houston did the other day, LaRose, Vance, Rubio, and they say, he's okay. They're taking their more moderate brand and they're wrapping it around Trump. They're normalizing him. They're sanitizing him. So these voices standing outside are very important, and these voices in particular are very, very dangerous as you watch authoritarians rise.